guys, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a fast one. We got something here to show you guys. These are made by DKZ Off-Road. What this is, is some sort of foam for your machine. Helps reduce the noise. Also looks goddamn stylish. Check out the design. So this is like boat flooring or they call it sea deck or they call it, I think EVA foam. Either way, this is the foam you will see on boats and jet skis and it's used to have some grip when you guys are out there getting wet in the river or at the lake. And um, this is now gone to the off-road industry and it's coming in a big way. So these are made, like I said, by DKZ Off-Road and we're gonna show you guys how to install them because there are some tips and tricks. Let's get into it. All right guys, so DKZ Off-Road made these skins custom for me and this foam is usually in two colors and as you can see here we have a black and white pattern to match the interior of this machine that i built for my wife for the sancho it looks absolutely sick and the design just completes the whole interior so well check out the top so there's a third color on this machine that you see we got a hot pink to match the belts but this is actually just an insert so normally you'll get two colors and if you want to do an insert there's a little bit more money but I mean, it's worth it. We got an extra color in there. It looks awesome. We got the Stay Dirty clothing. Branding, for you guys that don't know, we sell shirts, clothes, merchandise that you can pick up at staydirtyclothing.com. Shamelessly plug yourself. Perfect fit all the way around. So we're gonna show you guys real quick how to install a set onto a door. And like I said, these are just inserts. So we'll put those aside for now. Now DKZ makes skins for many brands of doors. I believe they make them for SDR. This happens to be a TMW door. These are my favorite doors. They can pretty much do any panel, any roof, any door, but if they don't have the specific file um, on their system, then they do have to ask you to bring their doors or ship the doors to them. Or maybe you could contact the manufacturer and get a 3D file and send that to the boys over at DKZ. Shout out to Dave, and they can make the foam that way. So um, as you can see here, this is a TMW aluminum door skin. Uh, most doors out there are made of aluminum, so this works perfect. And this happens to be powder coated in a gloss white. Glossy means it's a flat surface, not a lot of prep. It should be uh, a good surface for the, the double-sided tape to stick onto. So the adhesive on this is actually pretty damn good compared to some of the stuff that I purchased on Amazon. Um, I will say I bought stuff in the past. I've installed it on Big Blue and it has peeled in record time. So I've done it twice already on that car and uh, I recommend you do go this route. You can tell right away when you start working with this. So first things first, we got to clean the surface. This being glossy, not a lot of prep, but you do have to have it super clean. All right guys, so 90% or better rubbing alcohol. We're going to pour some of this on here. Actually, you probably shouldn't do that. You should use a rag. Put it on the rag and get to work, get to cleaning. All right, so make sure you get all the little crevices in the corners here and don't leave any fingerprints behind, any oils, because that will cause uh, the tape to come apart, especially in high heat. That oil will start to bake, it'll let off fumes, and it'll cause things to come apart. So make sure it's clean, it'll be worth it in the end. All right, so putting this on isn't actually hard, but before we start, we're actually gonna rub off this too. So, why? Because we're going to lay this on top of the door and we don't want whatever is on here to get onto our door. This is sort of like that wax paper. We'll put that on here. And DKZ likes to cut this, what appears to be about a quarter inch, a little bit more, in between a quarter and three eighths. They like to cut it so it's short. That way you don't have overlap and the things hanging out. So as you can see in my roof here, nothing overhangs and the lines are perfect. Look at that. And let's check out this door real quick. Mainly you'll see that in an area like this. But you can see how they recess it in there a little bit. It looks absolutely perfect. So one thing to note, when you install something like this on a skin or the roof or the door, um, there's going to be a little bit of a tolerance issue. So you got to keep that in mind. For example, the roof, because this foam is pretty thick, and we'll show you guys the thickness real quick. It is pretty thick, about more than a quarter inch, maybe... Uh, I don't know, 5 sixteenths. And with that being thick, it causes some issues in trying to put on your Zeus fittings. Uh, so what I had to do is actually bend, or not bend, but slightly tap the uh, Zeus springs so they could reach. So um, I didn't realize that until after, but it wasn't really that much of a deal. I just had to make sure I pushed them more. Um, and as far as the doors go, uh, luckily the hardware that came with the TMW doors was long enough and everything reached perfectly. But I did want to make sure you guys are noted on that. I want to make sure you guys are prepared. So on the roof, because the Zeus fittings are normally really tight on all cage manufacturers, uh, you may have to bend those springs just a little bit. Or 
can replace the Zeus fittings altogether, use some regular hardware, that'll work just fine too. All right, the meat and potatoes. Let's get into this. We're gonna line up this padding and make sure it is centered from left to right, up and down, so diagonal to diagonal, whatever. We gotta make sure it's perfect on here so when we, when we go to stick it, we don't have any distortion and we're happy with the final outcome. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out all my lines everywhere and kind of move it to where I want it. All right, so what you're gonna want is some sort of clamp and preferably two of them. Now these are two good examples because they have plastic um, ends and they are kind of big. They're not sharp edges. You don't want to use any of those metal clamps because it'll dig into your finish on both the foam and on your door skin. So either way, you still want to protect your finish on the outside, especially because it's paint on this machine or wrap. Ice cream man! Ice cream man! I'm going to use a rag in between that and the door skin. But now that I have it lined up where I want it, I'll use a microfiber. We'll put one of these down and then we'll make sure that side doesn't move. Everything in the back looks good. We're looking at the bottom lines here. And I can see how they're reaching here. Everything looks pretty damn good to me. I like the lines here. I'm actually gonna move to the right just a little bit. Now once we got it where we want it, you're basically gonna split this in halves, right? So I'll probably take almost half, maybe 40% of it, peel it back, take the tape off, and gently and slowly roll it back onto the door, making sure it's straight. And we'll do that now. Once you see that the lines are gonna fit where you want them, you'll use your hands and slowly roll it towards the edges. Nice job. The main thing I'm worried about is the edges on the upper and the lower, uh, mainly the upper because that goes into a tube that you can see at all times. And then the front here looks good. So I'm really happy with the lines. I got a quarter inch, maybe less, up here at the top and uh, at the bottom so that's perfect right where I want it and then well we're almost halfway there what you're gonna want as well is some sort of roller to help with the adhesive and make sure there's no air bubbles so you can find these on Amazon I'll leave a link down in the description as well as we'll leave links in the description where you guys can buy these foam pads so pricing um, there's different tiers there's different uh, designs already pre-made for you guys and the colors obviously you can choose from. If you want something custom, you will have to email our friends over at DKZ Off-Road. But if you want something clean, simple, and uh, something that you're pretty accustomed to seeing because other guys might run it, uh, go ahead and check out the pre-made designs down in the links below. So now that a third of this is pretty much adhered, now we can pretty much roll this over, pull the tape off, and when we roll it back down carefully with our hands, it should pretty much go back to the same lines that we set them up as. And as you can tell, that is the case. So, Somehow, somewhere, life goes on. I can with the bad. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to rub this with alcohol again, just in case something got released onto the door panel. I'm pretty confident it's still clean though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it. step you're gonna want to turn it around and you need to have access for all of the holes so I like to use an exacto knife all right last but not least we got some pink letters because this machine is for the wife of course and make sure that's clean get some alcohol and that'll be it for this video guys thank you guys for watching if you guys are interested and anything that you just saw, visit us at glifeutv.com. You want something custom? Hit up our friends at DKZ Off-Road. They could do a logo. They could do whatever you want. Check that out. Damn freaking good. It just adds another, another layer of sexiness to the interior of your ride. 
Makes it feel more homey in here. Let's step inside. Check that out. See you guys next time. Stay dirty.